Hey everybody, Syntax77 back with you for another edition of Sin Chats. I am accompanied today by my lovely wife, Sarah, because the topic at hand today, I want to do a little throwback to, or a continuation. Um, I did a video a little while back where I asked for your help. We asked for your help on uh, picking out a new ultralight or at least weight conscious backpack for Sarah here now that she's got her base weight down lower. Uh, you can check that video out if you want, but the gist of it basically is that her Gregory weighed about six pounds because it's a very comfortable pack for carrying a lot of weight, but then she got her base weight down to like 11 pounds and it just didn't make sense to have a pack that heavy. She just didn't need all that extra um, support and whatnot, so we started shopping around for a new pack and we got a lot of great feedback on that video, a ton of it. I almost want to say too much, but in a good way, because I learned about pack brands that I never even knew existed. We did read them all. We did. We, we did read, read them all. We read them all. Uh, tried to respond to, to a lot of them as well. Um, but really good feedback on the video. So actually, if anybody else is in the same predicament, um, even if for not for watching the video, I'd suggest going over there and just reading the comments, because there's a lot of good um, conversation between all the viewers and all kinds of feedback. But a um, little drum roll for those of you who don't know how to read because you've probably already read the title to this video, so it's not, you know, it's kind of... a little mean. I'm sorry for any of you out there. No, I would say <laughs> it's an advantage. If you uh, don't know how to read, then you truly just clicked on this based on the thumbnail. It's just a picture of us like this. <laughs> and, um, and you don't know what pack we got, because I put it in the title. But we went with, after all that... Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. There it is. The Ohm 2.0 by ULA, ULA Ohm 2.0. It just, um, it was tough. But this pack, and it was one of the ones we were originally looking at. What did we narrow it down between? Uh, Gorilla. Mm -hmm. And, well, Gossamer Gear Gorilla, as well as the Gossamer Gear Mariposa, which was still only two pounds or so, but had, was able to, capacity was able to go really high. And that's when we were worrying if, you know, you needed some extra space for colder seasons or until you got your weight down. Um, so I was a little on the fence about that. And then I think we went back to this versus the Gorilla, similar sizes, because um, based on feedback, people said that there's plenty of room in this from what they've seen us using. And we found that to pretty much be the case because you did take it out on the trip. I wanted to hold off until you took it out on the trip. So one trip under her belt with this, liked it? I loved it. Yeah? Loved it. Okay. I did, I'm going to be honest, it was hard in the beginning when I was packing. Yeah. With, oh, it yes. doesn't have a lot of pockets and zippers that I'm used to with the Gregory, so finding space and areas for everything that I was putting was more difficult, but I did get a lot of use out of it. This pocket? Which, which I didn't think I would be. And people did mention that, and I ended know, up being right. But it's right. true, because there's really, I, I like the inside of it, those pockets, but other than that, there weren't a lot of pouches and zippers that I'm used to with the Gregory, so. Right. So it was like the space was there, but logistically you just had to get used to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know our friend um, Danielle switched packs recently mm -hmm. too. She went with uh, Exos by Osprey, which mm -hmm. was another one that came up a lot. And she kind of had the same thing. So it's um, not even... Just switching. Yeah, just switching packs or to a more minimal pack mm -hmm. where it's more about like you organizing in your stuff sacks and stuff, right? Yeah. And we might get some more stuff sacks for you. Yes. Um, because you just get your stuff set the sacks and shove them in there. Although you did mention the inside pack, mm -hmm. inside of the pack, there is, I don't know if there's any way for me to show this, but inside here, there are, let me just flip it out actually, these pockets inside that just clip and connect and they are removable, but they're almost like a hanging stuff sack kind of thing to put stuff in. Uh, whether it be clothing, food, whatever you want. That was technically for a bladder, but... Oh, right. I think that's the bladder one. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't normally use the hydration bladder, so I'm just like, yeah. Learning new things every day. You can put food in this, <laughs> but yeah, you can put your hydration bladder in there, so that... And the other one that I like, um... The smaller one, right? Yeah, the smaller one with um, just the zippers. It was great to keep all my toiletries just in one spot. Yeah. And zippered. Yeah, so you use that for toiletries, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. can you know, do whatever you want there. Yeah. Cutting the head off there. Um, but yeah, these are cool and they are um, removable. There's five ounces of removable items on this pack. Um, it's around 32 ounces, so you can get it down to like 27 um, by removing those little pouches um, as well as 
and that kind of brings up a good point. I'll put this battery over here. Um, on the um, pack straps here, they have these little loops, and we ended up leaving them at home. But then when you're out on the trail, they're meant for keeping your thumbs in. Mm -hmm. And we thought, ah, you wouldn't do that, right? Yep. And then what ended up happening on like the second day? Yeah. Yeah, I ended up actually finding putting, yourself yeah, mm -hmm, doing that. Tucking your thumbs kind of up on the yeah. strap. And I remember you saying, yeah, it might have been worth yeah. trying. I, we don't know if you would have yeah, liked I'll it or to, not. I'll have to try it now since I removed them before. Well, we probably should have just brought them along. Yeah. I mean, they probably saved an ounce, but we just thought maybe you wouldn't like it hanging there, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, two things that were definitely much. I, I like this much more than the Gregory, is the size of these pockets. The hip pockets. And the hip belt itself was so much more comfortable. My hips, yeah. the actual bone and such, would bother me with my last half of the rubbing and just the way that they sat. And these are extra padded and really big, the, the actual pouches, which is nice. Yeah. That's so my huge. whole phone and anything else that you need kind of right at the ready. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can see that there. Mm -hmm to your hand yeah definitely can get a, I, if I had this I'd be putting my video camera right in there I'm pretty yeah. sure it would fit a GoPro would definitely fit yeah. you could get a lot of gear in there um, so I like that um, yeah so I mean it's definitely readjusting where I put everything because now that I have these bigger pockets I can put more things in there than I would normally put in my regular pack. in the back mm -hmm. and it's right there mm -hmm. yeah uh, but the actual padding of the hip belt itself was amazing as well as well as the um, the straps yeah it was much more comfortable yeah um, I didn't find myself anxious to take the pack off because I was uncomfortable with it I didn't oh, mind good. just wearing it until we got to where we needed to go yeah <laughs> that's good these are the um, are these the J straps these are the J straps yes. right yeah. which they recommend for women and some men depending on um, uh, body type and stuff mood size I Move guess size. but for women they pretty much say um, they like that so you ch choose that strap size when you um, check out this is a medium they have small extra small large all that all the information is on the site in fact we at first thought that the yeah. that we messed up awesome. and it just didn't seem like it fit you right mm -hmm. and you sent them an email mm -hmm. responded right away they wanted pictures, sent them pictures of, you know, me wearing it, um, and then told us the proper adjustments to do. We did that. I also find it's shorter, which didn't bother my lower back. My yeah. last one used to rub a lot on my lower back. The Gregory back. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one, since it's shorter, everything's kind of right there. So ironically, it's a lighter weight yeah. pack, which usually you worry more about not having support, but no. you, your shoulders and hips, mm -hmm. I believe you said, bothered you less. Yeah. Um, which is saying no, a lot. I was also didn't have as much in my pack, so that's to True. take into consideration. <laughs> yeah, and, but but it's saying a lot because Gregory yeah. is an awesome pack yeah. for comfort. And actually, I should point out you probably did a worst case scenario for weight because your base weight is down to around eleven pounds. Mm -hmm. But the trip we went on, Mike and Danielle, we went a little nutty with food, snacks, certain. I don't like to say nutty. I feel like it was appropriate. Appropriate. We had we brought a decent amount of you food back too, but we had choices. We had appetizers. You'll see it all in the video. We had cocktail hour mm -hmm. um, from Pack of Cormay, um, some adult beverages and stuff like that. So I know I personally had like 16 pounds in food and water, which yeah. is bananas. And I believe your total pack weight was 23-ish pounds. And I know her base was down to around 11. So she was running like another dozen pounds of food and water. So 23, 24 pounds you ran in this. They say take it up to 30. I don't think you're ever going to be carrying more than that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say that's your worst-case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. That means the pouches fit well for these water pouches, oh, too. Yeah. These are yeah. nice big pouches. We yeah. use the skinny bottles. They recommend the larger bottles, which fits plenty. But it also, side note, works really well for water and boxed wine. <laughs> so you're saying <laughs> we can do a water liter, and a well liter, hydrated okay. in those <laughs> a liter of wine and a liter of water yes. fits in one side pouch. Is what Don't you're reach saying. for the wrong thing if you're. No, it's true. Safety yeah. first, people. Safety first. <laughs> um, yeah, and then when you sent those pictures, I just remembered this. Um, one of the things they said was, oh, it looks like you just need to adjust your hip belt. And you choose the um, hip belt size as well as the bag size. And all they really do is um, take that size bag and then this is Velcroed in here, um, as you can see right in there. So if you pull that Velcro apart and slip your hands in there, 
you can adjust that up and down in there. And once we did that, then, right, because at first it looked like it was really high yeah. on your back. Yep. Yeah. And so we adjusted that. There's a lot of ways to adjust it, which is nice. Yeah. Because you can make sure it it worked fits, out well. But, yeah. Yeah, so that's the pack end up going with in purple i'm so jealous of it that i i'm i'm probably gonna end up getting the same exact pack in green at some point in my life i really like my osprey 46 although i've always felt that i got a medium and i should have got a large it's a little small for me i was on the edge a whole nother story um so it's never been a perfect fit but it's a great pack and i'm getting by with it but after feeling this that i don't even think is my size but just putting it on i was like this thing feels feels awesome yeah. um so I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely a cheerleader for ULA. And we just bought this with our own money and everything. So there's no uh, conflicts that, of interest there, but they're rocking it. So we'll keep using it in um, future trips. I know we're going to get out on a fall trip because we also want to test. Um, we only know it's about one, but there's going to be two fall trips. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I've been planning. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> well, we just talked about how much I like fall uh, in, in the last video where we debated seasons. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to try that Amok um, hammock creation, the floating uh -huh. flying saucer that was given to me that I didn't buy, full disclosure, but um, probably bring that on the next fall trip, and then this pack will be up too. So there will be updates um, as you go, but right now, pretty happy? Very happy. Yeah, so that's just a quick look at the ULA um, 2.0, 32-ounce loveliness of a backpack. Mm -hmm. So anything else you'd like to add? No. No? Mm -mm. Perfect. We'll What's end it there. What's for dinner? <laughs> I don't know what is for dinner. What's for dinner? I don't know. I gotta finish my the lawn. Oh jeez. Okay. Happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Till next time I'm Syntax77. That's my lovely wife, Sarah. Have Hello. fun out there. Take, please.